For each of these graphs, I'm asked to determine the domain, horizontal intercept, vertical intercept, and then sketch an accurate graph. Let's start with the first function, f of x equals the fourth root of x minus 5. Because the root is even, I want what's underneath the radical to be greater than or equal to 0. That's how I'm going to find my domain. If I solve for x, I get x is greater than or equal to 5. That is the domain for this function. So only x is 5 or bigger can be used underneath the radical here. To find the horizontal intercept, I set what's under the radical to 0 and solve for x. That's going to tell me the point at which the graph crosses the horizontal axis. So the input is 5, the output is 0. To find the vertical intercept, I want to evaluate f of 0. That means when the input is 0, what is the output? So I'm going to insert 0 for x. That gives me the fourth root of negative 5. If I look at the negative 5 under the radical with a fourth root, that is not a real number, which means that there is no vertical intercept. So let's go to y equals and clear out whatever we have there. I'm going to make sure I'm in y1, and then I want the fourth root. So I need the fourth root. I go to math, and it's number 5. And then under that fourth root, I'm going to place x minus 5. Then take my arrow and make sure I cut off that radical after the 5. I'm going to leave the standard window. So let's say negative 10 to 10 looks good. And then I'm going to press graph. So what I have is that my graph really starts at 5, 0 and then goes off to the right. This is 5, 0. This confirms what we found here, that there was no vertical intercept. So this is f of x. Let's see what happens then for g of x. g of x is the seventh root of 11 plus x. In this case, because I have an odd root, my domain is all real numbers, which I can write as this r, or I can say all real numbers. To find the horizontal intercept, again, I take what's under the radical and set it equal to 0. If I subtract 11 from both sides, I get x equals negative 11. That means my horizontal intercept as an ordered pair is negative 11, 0. To find the vertical intercept, I want to evaluate g of 0. That's going to be the seventh root of 11 plus 0 is 11. So I can compute the seventh root of 11. Let's do that on our calculator. Second quit will take me to the home screen. I need to enter 7, math, and then number 5, and then 11. I'm going to move my cursor, hit enter, and that number I'm going to round. Let's round to the nearest hundredth. So that is going to be 1.41. So if I write that as an ordered pair, 0, 1.41. Let's go to y equals then and clear out what we had before. I need to enter the seventh root of 11 plus x. So I'm going to go to my math, number 5. That gives me a seventh root, 11 plus x. Use the arrow to end the radical. And looking at my horizontal intercept of negative 11, I'm going to need to change my window just a little bit. So I'm going to make x min negative 15. So hopefully that will give me enough space on the left-hand side to see what's happening with the graph. And it does. So what we have then, if we draw our horizontal and vertical axis, so we have a graph that comes up like this and increases there. It's going to cross the horizontal at negative 11, 0. It crosses the vertical at 0, 1.41. And this is our function g of x.